uh, as you can see, I, I already cut a bar. And see how the middle is lighter? That's because I got a partial gel, which is fine. I think it looks neat. So I'm going to take my cutter. Okay, so I'm using my crinkle cutter. Um, the reason I'm using my crinkle cutter is because, I don't know if you can see, see, it actually has a blade edge, whereas my straight cutter is just kind of a straight piece of metal, and I need the blade to cut through these hard glycerin chunks, okay, so, and a crinkle cut looks cool anyway, so, I'm going about an inch thick, just going to go straight down, ooh, that's a big bar, that one's a, pretty hefty, there's the, the rainbow chunkage, turn the light on, okay. see the rainbow, the rainbow chunks, and every bar looks different, so. That one looks pretty neat. So, I'm really, really happy with how these turned out. They smell amazing. And, uh,. Really cool. So you get all the different chunks. It's really neat. Um, I'm using the gloves I'm wearing, by the way, are non latex because I don't want anyone with a latex allergy. You know, I don't want to touch my soap with latex if someone has a latex allergy. So they're crinkly and, and cheap, but they're safer. And this will be its resting place for about, about a week, maybe two. And then I will put it away in my soap drawer. And I will show you my soap drawer in a moment. Let me get these all lined up. I like to leave lots of space in between each bar so that the air circulates around them evenly. Okay, so we're in my daughter's, as you can see, messy play area. <laughs> Here's the soap drawer. Let me turn the light on. There we go. Well, I guess it didn't really help. Um, okay, so we have this soap row here. These are the, This is a sample. Um, it'll probably get cut in half because that's a really huge sample. Um, these are called Tea Room. It's a white, black, and green tea soap. And as you can hear, listen, it's really hard now. That's what the curing does. It goes from like being really soft and cuttable to like really hard. This is only oats. This is the ginger peach. And it's starting to starting to get hard. This is the kettle corn. Still one of my favorites. Um, my last couple wedding day soaps, they are um, no longer on the site. I have a couple on Etsy and I always save like two for myself for either cutting up as samples or gifts or whatever. There's boudoir. Hi, booty. Hey, boudoir. This is my boudoir. Yeah, this is my boudoir. She is 16. She's, oh, like my slippers? <laughs> I got those for Christmas. Yeah. Anyways, there's boudoir. Yes, this is my boudoir, kitty. Um, 
and then here is Indian Spice. So I've got a couple more soaps to put in this drawer. Um, here, some of my bath bombs. Um, I'm not currently selling these. I'm not making them anymore. They were kind of a pain in my ass. And incense. Same here. Incense is reserved basically for gift baskets and stuff. Um, yeah, so that was me cutting my soaps. Here's my soap drawer. Um, yeah, lots of soap. We will never be dirty in this house because I have tons of soap everywhere. <laughs>